is Mary Magdalene, the Apostle of the Apostles? Mary Magdalene, the adulterous woman, the one whom Jesus had saved from stoning, this is what happened. Mary Magdalene, as we know, had one day to thank Jesus for all the salvation he had given her. And even if she fell back into her sins, Jesus said seven times she fell back down. Mary Magdalene had broken up at the feet of Jesus a vase of a very expensive perfume and then had wiped his feet with her hair and then Jesus had said what she did there shall be remembered for all eternity because I will have no one to embalm my body when I die. She apparently she had ostensibly sworn to herself to render Jesus' statement true by attempting to embalm his body when Jesus had been crucified and it was a big surprise even if she had worried Jesus had announced it she thought of only of one thing to embalm his body and do the honors of that really put all her heart into it during the passover while she had been with apostles locked up in the house because the jews never go out during the passover they cannot work so she had spent her time preparing the perfumes the spice in order to go on Sunday morning the first day of the week to the tomb to embalm the body of Jesus she wondered who might roll back the stone for her a large stone that sealed the tomb perhaps she thought that the guards who had been posted by the temple would help her she arrived at the tomb and the stone had already been rolled back. She observed a gardener. She began to shout to him, and in a loud voice, Lord, if it is you who took my Lord's body, tell me where you put him, because I simply want to give him his honors. She hadn't recognized that this gardener was actually Jesus. Jesus had not been recognized for a simple reason. He wished that she would pass to another level of love than a simple love of human friendship. So he calls her Mary and she immediately recognizes him. She then rushed to him. She grabbed him by the feet. She didn't want to let him go as she loved him with all her womanly being, you may say. Jesus said to her, Woman, do not touch me because I have not yet ascended to my Father. But go and visit my apostles and tell them that you have seen me rising. This had been with Mary Magdalene had so done immediately. So this means that in order to evangelize and to announce the good news to the apostles who no longer believed in it, all lost their faith, one had betrayed Jesus and then committed suicide. The other ten ran away and John, who attended the Passion, no longer believed in it. He had seen so much misery. It had been the poor Mary Madeleine who announced this, which meant that she had been indeed the Apostle of the Apostles. What is the purpose of this assignment or mission? As it has a prophetic meaning, the apostles symbolize the priests, and it is rare that of the church, all those who are in charge of hierarchy often they see things less quickly than those who love Jesus. The little people who love Jesus from day to day with their rosary and who realize the gospel truth much faster. This is what Mary Magdalene symbolizes. Throughout the history of the church, consciously through apparitions, often the women, sometimes to shepherdesses, priests, great theologians will discover things. Let us remember, for example, to the sacred art of Saint Marguerite Marie, for the immaculate conception from Saint Bernadette, for the united arts of Jesus and Mary from Saint Catherine Labouré at 140 Rue du Bac. So there you have it, the Apostle of the Apostles, the one who gives the Apostles the deep discovery, the mystery hidden within the revelation. It is often the poor faithful women, sometimes poor sinners, but faithful in prayer. The Holy Spirit wishes to do like this, and the Apostle, bishops, archbishops, popes, 
must listen to these humble people who sometimes pay dearly, like Mary Magdalene, who had not believed at all the fact that they have assignment or mission to announce certain news issues.